Welcome back to Geyser Springs and uh, what I wanted to do in this video is uh, what, what I've been talking about for a couple videos and that is show you guys some uh, nighttime shots of Geyser Springs and how everything is uh, as of tonight. So um, let's see here. First I, I definitely did some more theming on the uh, log flume. So I think that turned out pretty cool as far as the uh, the main drop goes and the splashdown. So still got some work to do on it, but it's uh it's coming along. Um, next part, I uh, I know you guys have been hearing about me talk about this um, treehouse village. Got a lot of it done. Got the uh, upper walkway done. Didn't actually let the guests get up on it because it just it just doesn't work out like you like you would think it would. And I didn't want to try to hide the path. Um, like Gianni and a couple of you guys were saying about tr changing over to the natural path. I thought that worked out um, really well. Looks real good um, going back through there. So definitely pleased with, uh, with how the little village area uh, turned out. Don't know if I'm totally done. I guess it just depends on if I just get any more ideas between, you know, now and, and finishing this area of the park. But um yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. Even started a haven't even finished the uh, what would you call it? Um, the spinning coaster. I'd actually even probably almost call it a uh, <clears throat> just a a junior coaster. Even um, you know nothing too major and exciting back here. Just uh, just kind of got inspired to uh, maybe once the people get through the uh, through the treehouse village section. There is another little coaster, small one, back here towards the back of the park. So I thought that worked out well. Um, overall, I am definitely happy uh, with how Lumberjack Ridge turned out, um, especially the story with the uh, with the Treehouse Village and how the uh, trees, you know, w being able to come up with these giant trees, I think is is going to be a game changer for me as far as even going on to other projects, you know, always being able to have this uh, tree now. And really the only reason I even created them was for the uh, the need to have this village. So if if I wouldn't have uh, if I wouldn't have needed to build a treehouse village, I doubt I would have needed these big giant trees. So I think uh, that definitely how it happens sometimes when you come across these games like that. Um, but yeah, enough of the uh, village. If you want to see, let's take a look at the kind of the, I guess you'd call it the downtown area. Um, Red's Drive-In, Regal Theater, Toy Shop, Popcorn Shop. And uh, I, 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 a guy on um, Theme Park Extreme today was talking about needing a Buzzy, a Buzz Lightyear and a, and a Woody for his Pixar park. So I had uh, taken a break from Geyser Springs this morning and I had uh, <clears throat> built a little Buzz Lightyear. So um, like I was telling uh, S.P. Ridley and them on Twitter, excuse the creepy little face. Uh, faces are tough with what we've got, but uh, I think the little buzzy come out okay. So, and uh, what's something else I haven't showed you all here? Oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and let me just see if we can get a good couple cinematic shots of. Uh, let's speed this up the lift hill here. See if we can get some cinematic shots of. Um, shine run here oops I kind of went a little too far didn't I yeah now this is a little more intense than our little uh little kid spinning ride but eh, I think it comes out it, it came out pretty good not ready to show you the the POV just yet because I don't want you guys to uh you know ultimately slay me here but um it, it's I, I think you'll like it once it's uh once I have everything tweaked and uh, and everything smoothed out, but um, yeah, let's think here. What? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you, um, doing this recording. Actually, it, it wasn't necessarily the recording. It was um, when I was building over on the treehouse. I kind of just went ahead and had all the guests leave, because um, you can see right here. I, I'm not really having a whole whole lot of lag. Um, I've got my settings on. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much everything's still on high, you know. Um, so with I had it capped at like fifteen hundred guests, and with all of them in here, it was definitely um, starting to hamper me a little bit as far as the 
um, the buildings and stuff go n- not horribly noticeable, but noticeable enough to me to kind of aggravate me. So I kind of just had everybody go for right now while I try to finish up some more of this steaming because I hate when you click on a wall piece or something, you know, and it um, it just takes forever to drag and drop. And, you know, when you're trying to get into a rhythm here and you've got a bunch of builds going on, um, it, it can be a little tough. So definitely helped help that um, having everybody leave. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and watching this. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you. Hey!